In Canada, we use the Canadian Forest Fire Danger Rating System. It has several subsystems, one of which is the Fire Weather Index System. Now that one really allows us to get some numerical ratings based on fuel moisture and the weather parameters that are captured each day. And that really gives us an indication of potential fire behavior we might see. So the Fire Weather Index System, or FWI, is made up of six key components. The first three are fuel moisture codes, and these are really key elements that allow us to determine how available the fuels are to burn. After that, we combine down into indices that really allow us to see how quick a fire will spread and how easy it is to ignite, and then how much of that fuel will actually be consumed. Now put all together, this system allows us to really get a quantitative value on the type of fire we might see out there if one were to ignite. The first of the fuel moisture codes is the fine fuel moisture code. Now that's really an indication of the ease of ignition and the rate of spread of fuels. This fuel moisture code is affected by all four weather elements that we capture consecutively. So that's temperature, relative humidity, precipitation, and wind. The fine fuel moisture code is really an indication of those smaller fuels. So if you think about like the kindling that you use to start your campfire with, even grasses and twigs and the small litter and needles you'll see on the forest floor are all examples of fine fuels that are represented by the fine fuel moisture code. We move along to the slightly larger fuels and we have our duff moisture code. So that's the kind of next size up in, in fuels, anything that's maybe seven to 10 centimeters in diameter, or it's a little bit deeper underneath the litter surface. There's still organic matter and soil there that can burn when it's dry enough and available to burn. We go a little bit deeper into the soil or into our bigger logs and larger ones. Those are represented by the drought code. So the drought code is really things that are maybe 10 to 20 centimeters deep or there's larger diameter logs. If that code is high, it's an indication that the fuel will really be fully consumed when a fire moves through there. So if we take our fine fuel moisture code and we add a wind element to it, and those two combined give us our initial spread index. Ultimately, that is how quick will a fire spread once it ignites. If we're more interested in how much will that fire consume, we're gonna look at our duff moisture code together with our drought code. Those two together combine to give us our build up index. Really the buildup index is the meat and potatoes of how difficult will this fire be to control if it ignites and potentially how damaging or severe it'll be to the landscape that it's burning through. So the initial spread index and buildup index combine together to give us our fire weather index. That's the final output that gives us a numerical rating based on potential fire behavior. Fire weather index system and all these pieces we've just talked about is a component of the Canadian Forest Fire Danger Rating System. So these numbers that actually go into the signs you might see on the side of the highway based on the potential fire danger at the time. So when the province is making considerations based on potential open fire restrictions, we look at the buildup index. The buildup index is a somewhat more stable indicator of the type of fire that we might have, how much the fuel might consume, and what the burden might be on response resources to be able to be successful with suppressing that fire. 